All right, boys, we have a new drift game. It's called Drift Rain. It's on Steam. It's like 25 bucks right now. There is a sale because the game is just dropping out. Uh, first time ever in the game. I do have my Moza steering wheel as well. And now we're in the game, boys. Now it tells me to press a button. Okay, right now I am on keyboard, boys. This is Drift Rain. And first impressions on the physics, it's really arcadey, but I like it. It kind of holds the slide for me. Uh, I believe our opponent is in front there, and that's the first 360. One is up with the tire smoke. This is worse than Need for Speed Unbound. Wait, did they copy Need for Speed Unbound style? Okay, this man definitely has drip. Oh, we have two ladies and one guy. I'm gonna go with the Harley Quinn vibe over here. Drift Ray, boys, we're in the game. It's been a while since we had a new drift game. Now we I want let's check it out wait what fighters muscle usa or jdm toys i believe they don't like jdm cars <laughs> i'll go with jdm toys okay all right and this is our first vehicle dude this is sick become a champion apparently we get a start okay the field of view kind of reminds me like need for speed like it's really distorted kind of but uh oh god it's really easy to oversteer guys throttle Control is very important in this game. Okay, there we go. Holding a humble slide. Humble slide only. Extending the drift with the handbrake. Oh, it works really well. I have zero sense of speed. I'm moving like almost 100 kilometers per hour right now. This is... This is like 90. There, there is absolutely no sense of speed. Uh, we did one lap. Hopefully, that's sufficient. Winner. Okay. Somehow, we won. Okay, let's continue. Please take me to the main menu of the game. Graphics level is high. We're gonna put it on... Oh, high is the max. Controls. The game did say they support steering wheels. Does it support the Moza Racing wheel? Let's find out. Uh, I'm ready. I don't know if my steering wheel is ready though. And here we go. And absolutely nothing is happening. Dude, what? What is this scam? Now maybe... Wait, let me go back into the Steam for a second. Steering wheel support. Dude, they officially say they have steering wheel support. So guys, it's probably my wheel. We're gonna change the wheel and we'll be right back. All right, boys. Attempt number Number two, we do have a new steering wheel. Trustmaster T300 over here, which should work in absolutely any game. Otherwise, we're just gonna have to use our uh, keyboard. But uh, let's see, I'm ready. And the steering wheel, it's not working. I'm looking at the front wheels. Oh no, dude, we got scammed. Uh, we're still gonna check out the game. We're just not gonna be using the steering wheel. Oh my god, why is the dude in front like lagging? I'm not even playing online. I'm playing like against NPC and the dude in front is lagging. The map itself is cool. Uh, the smoke, honestly, the smoke would be probably cool if we could turn it off. They're definitely influenced by Need for Speed Unbound a little bit, at least. Now, we finished our race over here and we're winner. Dude, we did so horrible. We did so poorly, but somehow we won. Now, customization. Manage your cars, boys. We have style, body. Oh, the rims. Okay, let's start with the rims, so... Honestly, the rims are really good. It's a little too dark. I can't really see much, but they look to be really good rims. Paint. Yes. Okay, let's go into the wheels and change the brightness to... I think this is fine. Then we can pick new rims. Dude, the rims look sick. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go with this. Oh, we can change the tires. Radius. Oh my god, dude, look at the size. It literally goes through the fender over here. There is stance as well. So apparently we can... Oh, yeah, we can raise the vehicle. As you can see, you can make it completely off-road. Tire width. Oh, this brings the tire in or out. This tuning cost us 500 bucks, by the way, which is kind of weird. Liveries are locked. Boys, this is a DLC option or I don't know what it is. It's just, we can't use it. Let's check out the engine swaps. Oh, they are really expensive. Like, you gotta grind some money. Uh, the next engine swap is a downgrade <laughs> the next one is a downgrade as well the third one is a downgrade as well in terms of horsepower and here we go when we reach the uh, seven grand mark we're making some progress the nine grand mark is only five horsepower upgrade and the 10 grand is a complete scam because there is no difference there is a handling difference wow so we gotta upgrade everything manually air filter costs 1.4 grand dude i can get it like for 15 bucks from ebay uh we definitely gonna grind some money let's check out the new place and now we have rain as well so boys game supports rain let's check it out is it more sleepier as well oh my god the supra is lagging in front again why why is the supra in front lagging npc car should not lag now the drifting physics they are nothing like realistic i don't know if they 
advertise their game as realistic, but it, it is definitely not. Okay, there we go. I can hold the slide. Yeah, there was definitely a lot of assists going on because even if I let go of my keyboard, it just does weird things to my car. It doesn't like let it spin out. Honestly, once you get the hang of it, it's kind of satisfying. It just like pulls you in a little bit. Uh, probably for a younger audience, it's gonna be a blast game. Uh, they just definitely need to fix a couple of issues like the wheel support, right? Because none of my wheels work. They definitely need to fix the desync with the NPC cars. I've never seen that in any game before. So it's a little raw. The graphics as well, like it's the car is somehow flickering on my screen. Like it's, it's she shouldn't flicker like that we do have photo mode over here as well oh this is the photo mode okay the camera makes absolutely no sense can you please please stop moving come okay let's check out the next place this should be a new area as well it kind of looks like the very first area everything is like kind of red over here dude look at the cone even the cone is flickering what is the cone doing? And uh, there are markings on the road which you gotta go through. So my line is absolutely horrible over here. But somehow we have a lot of points. So the game is easy and drifting is easy. The game definitely feels like it's done by one single person. There is one more new area I believe to try out. Who are we going against this time? Oh, there is a Supra in the game as well. which should be in the JDM category. So maybe we just haven't unlocked all the cars yet. Oh god, a Supra is lagging. We're going through the Supra. Oh no. I'm gonna try to catch up to the Supra while I crash into the barrier. And we already have such a huge points lead. I don't know how. And the car is so slow as well. Like, you will see your opponent in, like, the first corner. After that, the NPC will be gone and you'll be just drifting alone, basically. Oh, we do have missions at the bottom left corner as well. So one mission is complete the mission within 195 seconds. But there is no timer on the screen. I don't know how long it's taken me. Was it under 195 seconds? Who knows? Doesn't tell me even after I finished the race. All right, boys. So we did all the races. We started over there on the left. We went at the bottom. And now we gotta go over here. Now let's see. Oh, yeah. We have new areas over here. This seems really familiar, except without the red filter. Our target is to get 5,000 drift points. And we completed the target with two corners guys with two corners we completed the target so there is absolutely no challenge in this game okay the suffering is over we completed this round uh guys for 25 usd uh i was expecting more they did promise during will support it's not there i kind of feel scammed there's so many better games out there you can get for 25 usd even overdrift festival is like 10 times better so at least in this current state of the game guys don't buy this game i don't recommend it i can't recommend it i don't think it's worth the money yet definitely has potential right now it's kind of trash but uh hopefully boys you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like make sure you subscribe and as always stay sideways Peace.